Welcome to the Construction Zone Online. Uh, and right now we're doing what? That's right. Uh, we're doing every episode, we're going to take a bug and see what it can teach us about following Jesus. And today, what's the, this week's bug? A praying mantis. A praying mantis. See that? See that? Okay. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house. OG loves me to tell stories about when I was a kid. And, and she lived next door. She had goats and chickens, and she always had really good food there. I remember one time I went there and I went on the living room couch and I saw a can of cookies that looked quite a bit like this. Actually, the can was blue, but it was, believe it or not, the same cookies. And I was like, awesome, I'm going to sit here, watch cartoons, and eat some of Oma's Danish cookies. Well, I opened up the can and you know what was in there? Sewing supplies. Needle, thread, buttons. You know, buttons are cool, but they're not cookies, are they? <laughs> no. no. And so, how disappointing, right? When when the outside doesn't match their inside. Well, you know what? Some believers can be like that too. Uh, they can look like one thing, delicious cookies, but if I put these things in my mouth, I'm gonna turn my face into a pincushion. <laughs> and. Uh, and so, um, God wants us to be the same on the inside as we are on the outside. The praying mantis is a bug that, uh, they call him a praying mantis because he looks like he's doing what? Praying. Praying. When he folds his hands up, he looks like he's praying. But actually, he's getting ready to what? He's a other bug. <laughs> That's right. And, uh, um, and so he looks like he's a saint, but he's actually a hunter. We're going to learn from the praying mantis example how not to be. That we should be the same on the inside as we are on the outside. And so we're going to watch Milo's Big Bug Show to find out more. Welcome to Milo's Big Bug Show. This week, we're going to be talking to a very holy bug. Say hello to a praying mantis. Good morning, Milo. Good morning, bug man. Good morning, pastor. <laughs> pastor? This little guy's name isn't pastor, it's Ricky. Hello, pastor Ricky. It's not pastor Ricky, it's just Ricky. So what, he plays in the worship band? No, he's a praying mantis. <laughs> but he does like to pray, right? Pray? You mean like talking to God? Sure, that's why they call him a praying mantis, right? No, not at all. They may look like they are praying, but the only prey the praying mantis cares about is other bugs. Oh, you mean he prays for them? No, he prays on them. He's a hunter, and he hunts other bugs. Well, you think you know a bug, and then they pull something like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry to disappoint you, Milo. Oh, it's okay. You know, I met a lot of people who act like little Ricky. You think they're all good and holy, but they're really not. They only act that way to fool other people. I know the type. I don't want to be like little Ricky. I want to pray from the heart. So do I. You're a bad bug, Ricky. Now, my love, <laughs> don't be so hard on Ricky. He's just being who God made him to be. He's a praying mantis. But if we are sincere about how we pray, we can be the way God wants us to be. And not like Ricky. Leave Ricky alone. You better pray God makes you a better bug, Ricky. Oh, look, <laughs> he's got his arms folded. He's praying. No, he's getting ready to eat that other bug. He's well, what? <sighs> Milo? Oh my goodness, Milo fainted. Sleep well, Milo. Well, kids, I guess we'll see you next week on Milo's Big Bug Show. Bye bye. But wherever you're going, you need God's help. When we drive, when we play, 
We always need ganyas. Sometimes bad things happen even to good people. Yeah, but even then God is near. And that reminds me of today's Bible verse. What verse is that? The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. To all who call upon Him in truth. Psalm 145, 18. What did you do with your finger? That's a real sign language for truth. So I put my finger to my lip and words come up. Truth. Let me try the verse. The Lord is near to all who call upon, upon Him. To all who call upon Him in truth. Psalm 1. 45, 18. Good job, Winnie. Maybe all the, our friends at home, they can do this first with us, right? The Lord is near, is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. Psalm 145, 18. Good job, everyone! Hey, Primus! Prim prim hey, let's take picture again! Let's that was home. fun! Let's go home? Yeah, I can use a grilled cheese sandwich! Jesus told this story to some who had great confidence in their own righteousness and looked down at everyone else. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, a religious leader. The other man was a despised tax collector. Everybody hated tax collectors because they were known for being dishonest. People still don't like tax collectors today. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I am not like other people. Cheaters, sinners, adulterers. I'm certainly not like that tax collector over there. I fast twice a week and give you 10% of my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow saying, Oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. I tell you, the sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Hey, welcome back. You know, there's a very old joke about a pastor who goes into the woods and all of a sudden was being chased by a bear. Well, he's running from this bear. He says, God, I pray that you would make this a Christian bear. Turns around, and what does he see? The bear falls on his knees, folds up his paws like he's praying. So the pastor goes back amazed. Um, he stay, well, listens to the bear, bear as he's praying, and the bear puts a hand on his shoulder and says, Lord, bless this food which I'm about to eat. That's a funny, silly <laughs> story. <laughs> Was it a Christian bear? I don't know. <laughs> but things aren't always what they seem. The praying mantis looks like it's a praying insect. It looks like it has a name, has a title, Full, hands are folded, but it's not a saint, is it? It's going to be killing bugs. So no bugs are going to be blessed when it goes to fold its hands. Well, today's story is an older one that I, that I built before, but it just seemed to fit this lesson so well. One man seemed to be really holy. The other seemed to be a sinner. And Jesus revealed their hearts. God isn't satisfied with us just looking holy on the outside be looking like a Christian, looking like a follower of Jesus. Um, but he wants us to be his inside and out. You know, it's easy to pretend to follow Jesus. It's easy. Uh, you just have to learn the songs, learn the vocabulary. You have to dress like the other people do. You, you go to church on a regular basis and you learn your Bible stories and people are going to think you're a really good Christian. But none of that makes you a Christ follower. 
Jesus said the tax collector, not the Pharisee, was the one that pleased God. God only heard one of their prayers. Um, the Pharisees were really well known for wanting to pray publicly in front of everyone so they could hear them pray loudly with lots of words, fancy spiritual words, so that people would be impressed. They loved the praises of man more than the praises of God. And even when they did good works, they did it so they'd be seen by other people. You can fool a lot of people, even yourself. But the real you is who you are when nobody's watching. You know, there's enough people who play church and pretend to be Christ followers. But we want to pray with a sincere heart. God wants us to live lives that seek Jesus and let Jesus shine in our lives. So my challenge for you this week is to start praying, not just before you eat, not just when you go to bed because mom and dad are telling you to do it, but, but make it a part of your life to always talk to God about the things going on in your life. Start communicating with God and let Him fill your heart and change you and make you the person He's, he's built you to be. Let's be a Christ follower every day, even when no one is watching. Heavenly Father, thank you Lord, that you want us to pray. You want to hear us and you want to spend time with us. And I, I pray, Father God, that all those who are watching, you would make us followers of you, Lord, that we would be the same person inside and out. No one would be surprised by a mask that we might wear. Lord, I ask that you would help us to, to know you and to serve you every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, stick around because we have a drawing your chances of winning are really good. Hey, well, this is the end of the Construction Zone Online, and we're gonna do a little drawing here today, right? Is that right? Okay, and so, and today's challenge, you're supposed to make a rhino beetle, rhinoceros beetle. Did you make a rhinoceros beetle? Should we look at the stuff together? Okay, let's see. First, let's look, we have, a, we have some new people today. Here's, Catalina's rhino beetle, and here is David's rhino beetle, and here is Declan's rhino beetle, and here is Erica's rhino beetle, here is Jonas's rhino beetle, and Levi's rhino beetle, here is Miles' rhino beetle, and then there's Nolan's, Nolan made a new rhino beetle because he made the first one, remember that? Yeah. And then, here finally, in alphabetical order, here's OG's Rhino. That was yours. Yeah. All right. And so, good job. Look at that. We had nine entries this week. So that's really super. And so we're going to draw a new name here. A new name written down in glory. And I'm going to go and pull it out. You won the new Lego minifigure, and we'll do that at the end of the unit. Uh, oh, I have a joke. What do you call, this is a bug joke, because I like bugs. You like bugs? Of course you do. You're a bug hunter. I only like uh, rhino beetles. Oh, I see. All right, well, here's a joke. What do you call a fly that has no wings? A walk. <laughs> Because he doesn't fly, he can walk. So he can fly. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, uh, for this next week's challenge, go ahead and make a praying mantis. You think you can do a praying mantis? I'm only ready if it's right there. Okay. Good. Well, we'll we we'll have lots of fun drawing that. I hope a lot of you do it again this week because. The more, the more we draw, the fun it is, the more fun it is. So, see you next time, kids. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye, other kids. Bye, kids. Bye.